It's Monday, January 28th, 2013. I'm David Pierce. Give me your hand. Close your eyes. Come on this journey with me. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge, presented by Ford. Twitter's new video sharing app, Vine, has become a hotbed of controversy thanks to the internet's shocking interest in pornography. The service accidentally promoted a particularly not safe for work clip as an editor's choice, but it was just one of many easy to find naughty videos. In response, Vine has begun censoring searches such as hashtag f and of course, porn. Apple has stopped actively promoting Vine in the App Store. The question now is whether they'll pull Twitter's porn portal, much like they did with 500 pixels. For better or for worse, okay, mostly for the better, okay, all for the better, the Star Wars prequels are never coming back to theaters. Deadline Hollywood is reporting that Lucasfilm has nixed plans for 3D theatrical re-releases of episodes two and three. A 3D version of episode one, The Phantom Menace, returned to theaters last year to less than stellar box office returns, at least by Star Wars standards anyway. Your next dose of theatrical Star Wars will be J.J. Abrams episode seven in 2015. Iran has successfully fired a monkey into space. I'm not kidding. According to the AFP, a capsule with the primate was launched to an altitude of 75 miles, but the monkey remained, quote, intact. This comes just weeks after Iran announced plans to land a man on the moon by 2025. The capsule was codenamed Pishgam, or Pioneer. And that's it for today's top stories. Coming up tomorrow, we'll show you how Daft Punk managed to record an entire album as puppeteers controlling life-size spaceman marionettes.